Well, here's one of the top spots, Lake Norman. Wouldn't that be nice if this was the view out your backyard every day? But at least you get to see it here on Fox 46. Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane has your complete neighborhood storm watch forecast right now. Ugh, 93. It feels like at least 93, Tara. It is horribly hot outside. Yeah, look how hot it does actually feel, mm -hmm. Paige. I mean, we're talking 101. So, yeah, it, it's just a steam bath out there today. It's hot, it's humid, that muggy air. Dew points are sitting in the low 70s. There's not much of a cooling breeze out there. Northwest wind at only three miles an hour. But lots of sunshine looks pretty outside in most of our neighborhoods. And, yes, a hot 93 for the actual air temperature. We've got low 90s down through upstate South Carolina off to the east. 94, one of the hot spots right now in this 4 o'clock hour. We're in Albemarle. We've got 92 in Statesville, low 90s up into the foothills, Morganton, up into Lenore, Hickory, and Taylorsville, right around 90 degrees, and pretty warm stuff up there in Boone at 86. But again, once you factor in the humidity, there's that 101 in the Queen City. Feels even a couple of degrees hotter, like it's 103, and that's in the shade in Lancaster and down in Sherraw there in Chesterfield County. Now, I do want to show you Fox 46 radar because we still have this lingering, weakening front and a little disturbance here, that wave of low pressure. That's mainly affecting the central and eastern portion of North Carolina here today and South Carolina. However, we do have our eastern zones that are close enough to that system, and we have been picking up on some spotty downpours here and stronger thunderstorms. We've got some heavy rain over Ellerby right now. That's I-73 down into Rockingham Route 1, heading up into Hoffman there, Wadesboro, and Morven picking up on some heavy rain as well. These are slow movers again today, so watch out for some ponding maybe in the roads developing. And as we check out future radar for the rest of the this evening, the best chance of some additional pop up downpours. A few strong thunderstorms will continue to be south and east of Charlotte. So most of us will stay on the dry and warm and humid side for the rest of this evening. Here's a day planner for tomorrow. More of the same, even a couple of degrees hotter, 96 degrees at 4 p.m. And again, factoring in that humidity underneath all that blazing sunshine, it's going to feel like 100 plus. And once again, it will be a primarily dry day. The better chance of any spot showers or a thunderstorm will continue to be more south and east of Charlotte. And then Friday, we start to see a cold front, another front dropping in from the north and west. And so by Friday morning, the mountains could see increasing clouds, a couple of spotty showers, and maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm around the metro south and east of Charlotte to finish out the week. But again, the heat continues to be the bigger weather story for the rest of this week. Feels like temperatures upper 90s to lower 100s right through Friday. Now notice those numbers back off a little bit heading into the weekend and that will come with slightly higher chances of scattered showers and storms and again with that cold front moving in. I want to show you the wind speed because, of course, we're talking about the heat. And with the wind, I mean, it's just that hot, stagnant air mass that also makes for not so great air quality. We're talking about that high level of ground level ozone. And so the air quality forecast for tomorrow will be in the unhealthy zone for folks with respiratory issues, such as asthma, emphysema, younger kids, older active adults. You probably want to limit that time outside because of the heat, but because of that poor air quality as well. So temperatures in the morning, upper 60s, low 70s, will actually get a little bit cooler up there in the mountains, 59 at Boone to start the day, but hot stuff to finish out the week. And then here we go. It's not going to last forever because starting Sunday, those temperatures back off into the 80s, higher chances of rain going into early next week. Look at that high of only 82 next Tuesday.